Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the Minecraft Crusade. We are here in the end and I'm going to start building the platform around which we're going to make the end of an XP farm on. So I've brought a load of nether rack that's going to be for like a temporary platform and a few more materials. Uh, I'm recording this straight after it took me a long time to make last e the last episode with all the materials that we had to gather and stuff but we've got them all together now so we can get started um, yeah I'm recording this the same day my son stopped at his grandma's last night and he's stopping there throughout the day so that's given me a little bit of time to play and I'm not at work till tomorrow although I think I may have to do some housework later, but we'll see what we can get done. I, I might put all the XP farm, I'm going to try and get it all in one episode anyway, so that shouldn't affect the viewing. But yeah, it may take me a few days to record. Right, let's see, I'm not sure how far we want to go out with this. Let's just leave it there for now. As I said, this is kind of just a temporary pad. Maybe go out. Will that be enough? Three there. And then. And then we want a wall around this. I'm not going to do all this on camera. Don't worry about that. Actually. This is just, that wall there is to stop if I do fall off because I'm going to be build it, building at height uh, just to stop your items that you lose go spilling all over the place or from going all over the place if you know what I mean right, I think that should do us maybe one more yeah, we'll go out one more at this side just to give us a bit of breathing room and then Right, let's swap some of this out. I think we're going to have... I don't know whether to have oak for the walkway around the side or what. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because then we've got fences. So, let's see. And this wants to be... Let me just check. A 13 by 6 area. So... That is, if it was 12, it would be 6, so 6 either side of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I didn't sprint on here. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm wrong, that's the inside area that needs to be 13 by 6. And then this needs to be two more on either side. One, two, and then one, two, and that will go around like that. And actually, I'm going to bring this out one more because I may want to make a minecart system. Will that be enough space? Yes, it should be. Like that. And I'm going to come out three on the other side as well. Like that. Um. Another one. And then... Have that come along like that. So yeah, I went out another one. And then, yeah, we'll do that now. So the 13 by six, that's gonna be in sandstone. Where's our middle again? There. So, and then six on either side. That wants to be two out. So one, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Is that not the middle? It is. <laughs> I've derped up already. Right. So. Knock that out. Knock that out. And then we'll have to take that out one more. So, yeah. This is a 13 by 6. Um, 13 by 2. Uh, sorry. 13 by 2 area in the middle. And then... This should be six by 17, but this is gonna be six by 19, I believe, because we might put a rail cart in it. Anyway, I'll get this done and check back with you soon. Right, that's the landing pad done. Uh, I brought a chest down here and I made an iron pickaxe, just in case anything goes wrong. Right, let's get started. We wanna place fences all the way around the outside wants to be two high fences oh right so we've got two high fences all the way around there I've left this I'm just gonna do it how the tutorial says for now but I've left this extra gap uh, I'm gonna put half slabs on here in fact so nothing spawns on it in case I forget when we're finished I may expand so we can put a um, minecart track going along so we can just go back to forth and the back and forth uh, hitting them and the powered rail may need to come out another block so that's why I've done that there right still got a load of netherrack on me just to make like a temporary way up here and now we need to put blocks all the way around here like I so that can go there you can still get under it and also one block in so that you've just got that bit in the middle this is to like to box in the enderman because obviously they're over two blocks tall so they won't be able to get out of here. They'll be stuck in that middle two two blocks um, after they've fell. Right, I'll get this done and get back to you. Once we've done that, I'm gonna place half slabs all the way around the inside edge. so as I said I followed the tutorial for this it was pandas design this is by no means me trying to claim this I'll tell you now this is <laughs> there's no way I would be able to design something like this right then 40 blocks on the bar <gasps> have I brought any ladders no Okay, I am back and I didn't light up the top of there. So we've got a lot of endermen spawned up there. Brilliant. I think I'm going to transport everything over here soon anyway. But yeah, I brought a lot more stuff over this time. Let's just get a lot of this in here. Whoa! Hey. Idiot! He's jumped off ahead as well, isn't he? Suicidal. It's a good job as well because I think we looked at him. Right, brought the fence gate. I forgot that last time. Oh, God. Bloody Enderman. What am I doing? Where's my blocks now? Where are my blocks? Right. Let's get 40 blocks here. And we will take those and those. Got some ladders. I want to go here. This block right here. This one. And go up 40 blocks. Right. Yeah, I forgot to mention. Place ladders on your way up. 
like I nearly forgot to do. Uh, so you've got to way back down. And then you want to place half slabs on, let me see, there. So there's a two and a half block gap on every one. Uh, between every set of half slabs in a ring going all the way around. All the way up to there. Just another quick tip that I've found out just now for anybody who wants to make these that it doesn't show in the tutorial I had a bit of trouble um, getting from the ladder to there so I've put whenever I do a new ring as soon as I place the first block I'm gonna put a slab there so then obviously I mean you can always knock them all out after the farms finished you can get on the ladder easy and then I can, we can go up to the next one and there's no risk rather than like you've got to try to get around the corner and I actually fell down so anyway yeah just a quick tip I thought I'd tell you right so now we've got all of those half slab rings done up to the next to last one basically I think yeah it's right up top we want to put full blocks all the way around here now this is the drop reset I think they call it Try and remember how to do this uh, with the vines and then the buttons stop it, stopping them from dropping anymore. You probably know how this works anyway, but just for those who don't, uh, the endermen are going to be dropping from lots and lots of platforms up above, so they're all going to have different um, you know heights that they've dropped. So by placing vines and then buttons underneath to stop the vines growing, they like get slowed down on the vines, so it's as if they're all dropping from this block which is 40 blocks which gets them down to half a heart so they're all exactly the same health so we place buttons all the way along this side and then all the way along the opposite side and then we want to go up on top of there two more blocks up with vines coming down so I'll do that off camera right now Right, I've completed that part and just gone down to get some trip wires and pistons. So it's getting on to the kind of fun part now. And I didn't put a little ledge here. Oh, oh. You see, that's the problem that I found. And these little ledges really do help. Oh my god, I'm going to kill my son. Right, let's just go up to the top. There we go and eat some food right as you can see I put vines here you could just wait for them to grow and place them on the top uh, top block so this is three blocks tall uh, buttons on the bottom I've just placed them like I said and I've lit up the top so we didn't get endermen spawning uh, we've continued the pillar up that'll just continue all the way up and right see if I can remember this now trip wire and then we need some temporary blocks as well boom um yeah that'll go there <gasps> oh yep I am an imbecile it's official if it wasn't already okay I'm back and now I have redstone on my bar because we're gonna need that so it might have been a good idea to bring it up in the first place but there you go right block here and that's what made me remember because we're gonna need redstone on top of it and then right pistons there so that so we can put is that going to be right yeah and then the redstone will go up to there then place 
this is where the uh, trip wire goes along the face of here this side we don't need to make the tower up so we can use temporary blocks and one two and then and then what did I do there so we need one there and then to there redstone then we're just gonna run redstone oh trip wire on there as well trip wire hook sorry <clears throat> Run redstone all the way along there, and you can see it's connecting to the trip wires, trip wire hooks, and the same at that side. And now we need to place the pistons in, which go right here. all the way along this is what pushes the enderman off obviously trip the trip wire and then boom we can play string all the way along here now because we're only two blocks tall so we're not going to trigger it which was a problem when building the other design farm you were always triggering it or i was anyway maybe that's just me and it might be a good idea actually to put some temporary blocks on top of here so that if we do fall we have got a platform have i just got rid of those vines yeah of course i have thought you might be able to place them on top like um torches and stuff right let's just do this right i'm going to get this platform done and then i'm going to do the same on the other side Right, I've done the same on the other side. Exactly the same, just mirrored. And then we need to place half slabs. One, two, I think. Can we put them there? Or here? Yeah. Hmm, no, they need to be. I'm not sure. I know mobs can't spawn on half slabs. Does it need to be the bottom half slab? You know, like that. We're gonna put them like that anyway. That should be fine. And then how many? But yeah, I think we'll have the right clearance then. The block's gonna be there, and then one block up from that. So that'll be one, two and a half. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Now I've dug a little thing around here. On the tutorial that I watched, the ladder was on this side, but then he was like messing around in here. You're knocking the trip wires. Uh, trying to get up every time because you need to put half slabs here so looking at it in hindsight um, it might be better just putting the lad ladders um, on this side of the pillar I've put this here now and I'm going to carry on putting the ladders up on the inside and then we can just go around here but yeah probably just better off to start on this side straight away um, yeah I would think so anyway let's get on to the next layer I was just thinking about that then whether it would work but anyway this should work out for us let's get some ladders back on and I'm not sure if this we might leave this pillar here for access anyway this bit's lit up so that's fine okay let's do this up to the next layer so we want now this that I'm placing here is like the platform that you see down there with the torches on that the endermen are going to spawn on 
so this wants to go all the way around the outside and then oh yeah there as well there 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 Let's just do this. And so this is like foot level. So now it's going to be want, want to be the same again. So we can knock that out. And then one, two, three up all the time from the platform. And then we're ready just to do the same again. So it's going to be like that there. Hopefully I will get faster at this. Um, one there. And then one on top of there, right? Knock this out. What's that doing there? <laughs> Did it wrong enough. Should we go back down? Am I going to be able to fit through there? No. Of course not. Right. One, two, three. Trip wire up on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Should have took that one out, really. Stick that back. that back yeah I certainly hope I get a bit faster at doing this because I am terrible at the minute that just doesn't need to be there some people who are watching this were probably screaming at the screen then but there you go redstone there yeah that's going to link to the tripwire and then all the way along now this is going to be fairly long winded because I'm not sure exactly how many levels I'm doing here, but if I press S3, F3, S3, did I say then? F3, then you can see, you might not be able to see it actually because I'm not in full screen, but the Y is, we're at 50 now. So when we want to go up to Y128 to use the, that's why I went down to the bottom and then we're going all the way up to sky limit in the end. Um, to get maximum efficiency out of the farm that's the only way to do it so I'm going to continue on with that over the next probably couple of days because I'm back at work tomorrow so I'm going to work on this and I will see you soon okay we are complete try and look up here without looking at them oh my god this has taken forever it's actually a few days later in real life and now I've completed this, I'm really happy it's working fine, but this is the most time consuming and ambitious project that I think I have ever undertaken in Minecraft. Uh, I actually recorded me finishing the last layer, but derp, I forgot to plug my microphone in. So, we had no audio. Well, we had game audio, but no audio of me speaking. So, this is it, it's complete. I've just been back to spawn for a lot of stuff. I mean, I just tested it out. You can see I'm at level 50. I got that straight off the bat. And off camera, um, I'm just going to show you it working here, in fact. And then we're going to call it an episode. And off camera, I'm going to knock all this out and build an enchantment station and things like that uh, before next episode. But this is sick. In fact, anyway, well, you can see how fast they can kill them. It's not going to get me the um, very fast XP because I'm already at level 50. Hmm, we could do with using some of that XP. Right, so I died um, just knocking out the netherrack around here. Enderman, well, a couple of Endermen ended up attacking me and I had no armor on, yep, so I died. Didn't occur to me at the time that I had 50 levels on me, 
Not that it matters now because we've got this beast of a farm, but yeah, I could have just, instead of building all this, could have just showed you how fast it works. Um, but I am going to build an enchantment table in here. I've got half slabs and half slabs, so this is only a two and a half gap here. So the enderman can't spawn under here anyway. But yeah, seeing as I've just got six levels on me, and I've got that six levels just from, uh, you know, when I came back and got the rest of the nether rack just from popping endermen. Just random ones. Okay, let's do this. Now, you don't even have to really go AFK on this farm. You can just, like, wait a few seconds and then they'll start to build up again. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I can't even see because of all the XP in my face. Twenty-seven. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Look, they're building up already just from being at that side and they've built up over here. That's 30. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Just collect all this. But look at him already. Whoo! That is just nuts. I cannot believe it. But it took a lot of time. You know, gathering all the resources for this farm and then putting it all together. It's took um, a couple of weeks going on the game, two or three hours a day. So there's a lot of effort and a lot of work gone into it, but it is certainly worthwhile. My gosh. Uh, you can see why it's called, you know, the best XP farm in Minecraft. It certainly is. Anyway, so off camera I am going to pretty this place up and get an enchantment station in here and enjoy the XP. Unfortunately, that is all we have got time for this episode. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.